Hello fellow cultivators, this video we are again going to talk about the Elf Immortal, but this is about a new mechanism adding to the game in the recent Tianyuan patch that have actually have a quite a big impact on how the game play. And this is now you can learn skills directly from your master as you can see, this button here from your master. And this is actually quite impactful because two reasons. One, by doing this, you learn the skill without need to meet the prerequisition for your martial art or spiritual roots and also you don't need to play a small mini game and which means it opens a possibility for you to play as a rogue cultivator because one of the biggest problems as a rogue cultivator is like you don't have the root the root fruits for you to increase the root enough to make you learn skills from the manuals by doing this you bypass this thing two which is also important for even standard sect you know member playthrough that is you can learn from your master higher realm skills and this is actually very important because higher realm skills in general have a higher stat for example the mind mind skills if you learn a uh, attack mind skill from chi condensation when you add chi refining you get a much higher attack and also if those active skills like your martial skill special skill out they will have higher damage you know, base damage, and this will make your playthrough much easier. So now, of course, this have a limit. So while you are you are at Qi, the first two realm, you can only equip two skills from upper, from higher realm. And well, in this case, of course, we are going to recommend you to choose one attack mind skill and probably one martial skill because those two are the most basic things. While you are at Qi. The uh, condensation and golden core can equip three, so maybe add in your special skill, for example. And when you are in add um, origin spirit and uh, Narson soul, of course, no, is it origin spirit or oh, so for me? No, origin spirit, yes. Then you can equip four higher realm skills, then you have more, you know, options for you to gain, for example, uh, attack or life or defense mind skills now of course there is this thing that you need to choose a max master who is at actually like two realms higher than you so in order to learn the skills two realm higher because the skill you learn is directly what the masters have so in this video we're going to first talk about what kind of master you should choose and what is the best procedures you can do in order to be more efficient to learn the skills so number one the masters you are supposed to choose is someone who is not having chosen and you want someone who is have the same type of internal trait as you for example you are kind selfless you know outstanding it's better your masters also are either one of the three or middle way or if you are an evil character you can choose a master who is evil that internal trait you need to match to your the master's external trait should it's better to have something which is shows that they care about their disciples for example caring and protective those were those were the good you know inter exter external traits that it can so this is because you want your master to you know consider agree to learn teaching skills to you and also you can ask for materials from them that's also important because just learning skills is not enough. You need to upgrade them. You need to comprehend them. Especially with higher realm skills, you don't have the comprehension or upgrade materials. And if they are coming from the higher region, if you only have like one realm higher than still from the same region, then fine, you can farm there by yourself. But if they are from another region, you probably need to get those comprehension materials from the master itself. So you want them to be a nice person. <laughs> and second, um, the reason why we were talking about like why we don't want them to be heavenly chosen from the beginning is because heavenly chosen are very hard to gain a good relationship with. They only accept a few items. For example, the cloaking charm, if I remember correctly, that's the name. That's the name. I, mean, I don't remember the name, but I know that is the item that they will accept. And it will take a lot of gifts for them to like you a bit more. But a stun, a normal character is much more easier. You can just give them some higher valuable items. They will like you. And usually if your internal traits match and for a man, 
Usually, a bit more than two hearts are good enough to guarantee them to take you as their disciple. So you request the mentorship, and for some time for women or for if your interest does not match exactly, for example, you are selfless, they are midway like that. You may take a bit more than two hearts, like two and a half hearts ish, but should be relatively easy. And then you might be asking, okay, let's say, but what if the master do not have the skills I want? Like for example, they are probably you want to you know learn fit skills, and they are whatever sword cultivator, or for example, they are not have any chosen, which means sometimes they don't even have you know higher realm skills. Well, this is time for you to use your Dao Seed and pass its Dao Seed to them. And by passing the Dao Seed to them, they will become heaven chosen in one year. And in fact, after you pass the Seed to them, after one month, they were going to ask you what kind of uh, spirit, uh, martial spiritual art should I choose. Then you tell them, yeah, choose this one that I want to learn you from. So then they were slowly swapping their skills to the one. And... Uh, one year later, they will become heavenly chosen. They will have all the good, you know, red or orange skills that you can learn from, and you can also get items from them, which is important. Which is the comprehension item. The, the one month they become heavenly chosen, this system will tell you, okay, and you can tell them, yeah, you know, you can. If you check their inventory, you'll find out, okay. This is the there are some will be some comprehension them and you can just ask from them since they are protective and caring such a nice person they will give it to you to so save you some of it. But yeah, in still for upgrading the skills you still probably need those materials and it's not that easy sometimes. However, first of all, just by engaging in difficult battles normally this will slowly you know gain your experience for your skills to upgrade. Two, you anyways need a lot of battles. In order to gather those materials, anyway. So one thing is that once you learn the skill from your master, the master will have this the destiny that taught martial arts. So within six months, you cannot learn skill from this master again. And actually, this is not only for this master. It's this thing that is shared for all the master you have. Like this master does not have destiny, but if I click on learning from a different master, it still have the same problem. So the reason for this is actually the. It's not because the master this temporal thing they have, but in fact, it's the fact that you will have a learned martial art in yourself that lasts in six months. So you cannot learn skill from any master within six months. So that's basically everything about the, the new mechanism: learning skill from masters. As you can see, because you can learn higher realm skills from the master, and to skip all your requisition for them, my this character. This uh, low cultivator calibrator. I am already at not and so right. And look at my martial arts. That's so bad. And because I don't need those things to, <laughs> to learn skills anymore, I can learn everything from my dearest masters, starting from Chikanization, Golden Core, and Origin Spirit, and a few not and so. And I recently get one enlightenment since I'm already at not and so. I can try to get someone at not enlightenment now. So. Learning those skills is much easier, and it's very powerful, so that you can actually have a jump ahead against you know, higher difficulties、um, enemies. Now, of course, this is actually quite interesting because back in the very beginning of the game, NPC relationships are very important in this game, and then they introduced the sect mechanism. And basically, since you can become a sect leader, you basically Get everything from your sect, and you don't need to care much about NPC relationship anymore. But this little change recently actually makes NPC relationship important again, and it's actually fun. Also, kind of more role play. You can learn stuff from your masters. So I do appreciate this change a lot. And、uh, then you also need to now you need to care about learn things about NPCs. Like you need to know how to make NPCs like you. How to make friends with them? Like, what are the internal, external traits? What are the importance? What things NPCs like, they don't like? And, for example, while you are at a bit higher, like me at not even so now, it's more difficult to get an enlightenment master. Not necessary. Like, not only they need to be have the same matching internal trait, but also you need probably need to have a bit better 
reputation. Many of the many of the NPC care about your reputation, and so now you need to check a lot of things, and it's actually a bit fun. So basically, that's I do like this、uh, change, and I found it, and it makes the gameplay a bit more easier as well. And you know, I always find it that mini game learning manual being a bit tiring. And I like the fact it skips help me skip that as well. So as usual, I I hope this video helps you. And、uh, maybe、uh, because one of the biggest advantage of this mechanism is now you can play the gold cultivator now. And this is what I was been doing, have been doing. I'm playing this gold cultivator, and I found it much much more enjoyable than previously. So yeah, maybe in some days I will I will release a video about some tips about gold cultivator playthrough. And I mean, it won't be super long because I've already made an entire playthrough game, so I will just give out some general tips of, in like one video. That's it. And as usual, thank you for watching. If you like this content, please consider leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. My recent videos have very few likes, <laughs> and、uh, so yeah, thank you. And and hopefully, hopefully, we'll see you next time.